Hi guys, I'm just going to do a review of the 88 palette, and mine is covered in fingerprints, which looks really kind of grotty. Anyway, um, I've got the, not the shimmer one, the other one. It's not matte, but it's not as frosty as the other one. Um, I didn't want to get a hugely shimmer one, because obviously if I want to add more shimmer to it, I can just use like a base or something. So I think this is a bit more versatile. Um, yeah, so I know there's like a million and one reviews on this already, but what the hey. It's usually American people and that's one thing I want to cover, right? I wanted this palette so badly, but I didn't want to order it through Coastal Sense because I know that when it arrives in Britain, I'll get charged customs and it's... I don't know, I didn't know how much they were going to charge me and I didn't want to go through that and... I haven't drilled in at the post office because at the time I didn't drive and it's about half hour to walk there and stuff. So so I went on eBay and I typed in Ghost Sense 88 palette, £45. And I thought, no, not paying that for it. It's like, I think it's about $16 in Coastal Sense. Like, no, but that's, that's like £11. I'm not paying £45 for it. I'm not paying four times the price. So... I kind of gave up for a while and then I found a UK site that sold it and it was £40, but still, no. Then somewhere along the line I remembered, hold on, Coastal Scent buy their stuff in from Asia. Hmm. So, slightly more intelligent, went on eBay and typed in 88 palette, £12, including the postage. And it is the exact same palette, it has the exact same colours and the exact same places, same size and mirror, same applicators, everything. So, if you're in the UK and you want to buy one of these, that's probably the best way to do it. And they had like the highlighter palette, like the blusher highlighter palette as well, and like the warm colours one with all the nice plums and stuff. So, yeah, that's, that was the main bit of information I wanted to put in this video, so, there you go, that was, yeah. Anyway, the palette itself, it's kind of chunky, um, you know. I bought it for going on holiday because I figured if I broke it I wasn't going to cry and then arrived after I got back, which was kind of rubbish, but anyway. Um, <laughs> it's really good if you're starting out and it is good for going on holiday as I said because you're not going to get upset. It's got quite a reasonable size mirror actually, so if you're on holiday and you know, you're know you sharing a room with another girl, it's not like most compact mirrors where you're kind of... Hmm, you maybe see one eye at a time and it's hard to see if you've done them even. This one you can see your whole face, which is kind of what you want in a mirror. Um, it's got a good variety of colours in it. Um, as you can see, it starts up here with kind of a row of natural shades um, that would work for highlighters for pretty much most skin tones, I'd imagine. Um, right down to a load of greys and taupes and browns and a black in the other corner. And then you've got all the bright colours in between. So there's not a lot of looks that you couldn't manage with this. Um, and there's a colour that I swear is an absolute dupe for Electric Eel once you get it on. I mean... It doesn't look like it now that I've swatched it. Oh well, I take that back. It doesn't look like Electric Eel anymore. But anyway, I mean, that's Electric Eel in the middle, and that's two colours from the Coastal Scents on either side. So, I mean, that shows you the pigmentation anyway. Um, you know, I mean, that's it compared to Max Shadow. That's, that's pretty good. Um, I don't want to call this the matte palette, because it does have shimmer in it. Very few of the colours, I would say, were true mattes. Um, there's even a couple with glitter in it. Like, there's a blue there. You see the glitter there? It's really pretty. Um, but there's nothing over the top. So, yeah, all in all, I think this palette's quite good. I just done a video with the greens and the yellows, and I have to say the fallout from them was quite bad. But, um, I've worked with the pinks before, and the neutrally colours, and I've not had, in the purple, and the black, apparently. I don't remember doing that, but there's a smudge on it, so I've used it. Um, and I didn't get, a like, fallout from them, so, you know. One set of colours isn't too bad. Um, yeah, I would definitely, definitely, definitely recommend this if you like colours. But, like me, you're not out very often because I'm in a job five days a week where I can't really go in wearing yellow. So this is, like, fantastic for me. Even though I've got all my bright colours already. But, um, yeah, if you're just starting out, I would get this. I mean, you won't be able to get the, it won't be the exact same colours as MAC, but, like, 
the Mac shadows that most people use on YouTube. But um, there is so many, so many tutorials for this on YouTube. And whatever colour you see, there's going to be something close to this. Close to it in this. So for at least you, know, you can give it a shot, see if you like it before you buy an expensive one. But um, yeah, I've started rambling now. I think that's all I wanted to say. Yeah, that's it. I've done two tutorials in this already. This is one of them. Um, I think I'm going to call it Green Fade or something. I'm not uploading it yet. But um, yeah, it'll be up after this video something. Anyway, I'm going to go before I ramble anymore. But yeah, definitely recommend this. I'll put a link to the guy I got it off of on eBay in the sidebar. Although I'll say he was quite slow. But he did re deliver it like really well wrapped and stuff. So, you know, you pay for what you get. I think £12 is all in. Now. You can take as long as you want to post it. It did get here. Um, yeah. Bye guys. <laughs>